gene therapy for hair loss at home. Hi, I am Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. A's Clinic, Delhi, India. And today I will be talking about an overview of gene therapy for hair loss and how you can carry it out at your home. Because most of the steps involves uh, things which you have to do yourself. So for that, let's begin at the starting. So it's common knowledge that hair loss in uh, male pattern baldness at least is due to our genes. So that is fair enough. But so is our eye color determined by our genes. So should we not be born bald? But we are not born bald. So there lies the first clue. The clue is that the genes for hair loss are in a dormant mode or a sleep mode or a resting mode when we are born. Now there comes a time when we wake them up or activate them. Right? I am keeping the terms very simple so that everyone can understand. So when they wake up then hair loss process starts. In the hair loss process itself it is the stem cells which are most important. The hair follicle has stem cells. The stem cells are healthy and multiplying. Then you see good hair growth. The moment stem cells stop multiplying, you notice hair loss or hair miniaturization. Now, how is this genes for hair loss activated? This happens by the epigenome. You can google this term, it's an important term. So epigenome activates the genes for hair loss and we start experiencing hair loss. People are losing hair at a very young age nowadays. I notice people between 20 to 25 years almost are for totally bald. That does not used to happen earlier. So this is the epigenome at work. We spoil our epigenome, we activate our genes for hair loss at a younger age and we start experiencing hair loss at a younger and younger age. Now what if we modify our epigenome? It is in our control. Why? Because a lot of things that make up the epigenome are within our control. So let's understand. The epigenome will consist of the food you eat, everything you drink, whatever you breathe, the air you breathe, the things you apply on your skin, and all the hormones that are made in our body, whether in response to stress or otherwise. So all of these things ultimately end up in your blood. And from blood, they reach everywhere in your body, including the roots of your hair, where the stem cells are located. Now, if the blood is full of nutrients and good things and healthy things, then the stem cells will be happy and healthy and they will keep on multiplying. But if you fill them up with junk by eating all the wrong foods, just soft drink and uh, Coke and Pepsi and uh, burgers, then it is not going to give, make growth factors or good things in your blood. So whatever we are consuming, it is ending up in our bloodstream. And from our bloodstream, these things are going everywhere. Imagine if you had a twin. You led an absolutely good lifestyle and he led an absolutely bad lifestyle. Late night party, all the stressful things, not eating properly. Then who will lose hair at an early age? Definitely your twin. So the first step is improving your epigenome. That involves a multiple steps. But some of the common steps I list out. Regular exercise. Intermittent fasting. Taking cold showers. Cold showers is very good and surefire cure for stress. And stress hormones. Regular exercise is also required. You can't have a healthy body if you are not leading a healthy lifestyle. Do not eat outside foods. Then there are some foods which are helpful to your hair. For example, make a salad out of broccoli, tomato, mushroom. Make a big bowl of that salad. Take it every day. You can cook it slightly. Take uh, salmon or any oily fish if you are a non-vegetarian. Eat at least 4 walnuts per day. Avoid any sulphate or SLS containing shampoos. 
sulfates do damage your hair a lot. And understand that all these things are going to have a direct effect on your hair. The stem cells of the hair are very fast multiplying. They need fresh nutrition. Every time the blood takes the nutrition to them, it has an effect on them. If it is filled with preservatives, it will cause them to stop functioning properly. Then we will be asking you to take some supplements. Supplements are like food for your hair. Unfortunately, our modern diet does not have that food in the sufficient quantities. Sometimes we have to provide extra quantities of that. So that is where supplements come in. Then what we have to do is we have to do something for our stem cells in a direct manner. That is micro needling or using a derma roller or a derma stamp or a derma pen on the that part of your scalp where you have hair thinning. You wet the hair and move it. I have the video for that. You can check it out in my YouTube channel. So you move the derma roller in the areas where you have thinning hair to create tiny channels. The derma roller should, needle should be at least one millimeter long. If your skin is very thick, you can do it to 1.5 millimeter also. So you roll that derma roller on the skin properly, creating the channels. You will notice pinpoint bleeding. That has to happen. If you are very afraid of pain, tell me. I'll write down a gel or a cream for you, which will numb the skin properly. So that then you can move the derma roller easily without any pain. Do that at least once a week. That will open up the pores of the skin so that when we apply resveratrol, grape seed, serum and fisetin and NMN and AKG, all of these are good molecules which activate the stem cells, protect the stem cells from any oxidative stress and help the telomeres get long. If you, are, you have a scientific bent, if you are a science student, then what happens in the stem cells is the telomeres get short. If the telomeres get too short, the DNA cannot multiply, cannot divide. So when DNA cannot divide, the stem cells stop multiplying. So resveratrol and fisetin, when you apply on the scalp and reaches the vicinity of the stem cells, it uh, induces it to produce TERT, that is telomerase reverse transcriptase. That re-lengthens, makes the telomeres long again. That is the magic or that is the science behind it. Not really magic, the science. So once the telomeres are long again, your stem cells start multiplying again. So in brief, use the derma roller once a week. Do Use the derma roller in such a manner that there is pinpoint bleeding. Then you apply the gene therapy serums. Gene therapy serum you apply once every day and within 6 to 8 weeks or 2 months. What I have noticed in all my patients, the hair becomes stronger. How do you check that? You will notice less hair fall on, in your comb, in your hairbrush, on your pillow, on your towel. Then when you pull your hair, it will not come out so easily. And third, of course, you start seeing longer hair, better hair especially wherever in the front area where you can observe them. This is the repeated feedback I am getting from all my patients. And I will explain now in future videos about the research on each of these molecules. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, if you want uh, any of the gene therapy serums and supplements, you can uh, contact us and we will let you know what all is required. And remember, share this video with your friends. There are a lot of people out there who can improve their lifestyle, who can benefit from gene therapy for hair loss. It is a pity that people are losing hair at a young age and then they are going after medicines with side effects. It's, uh, let's correct the things first. Then if you want to go over these medicines which may have side effects, you can start them also. 
But meanwhile, share this knowledge as much as you can with your doctors also, with your friends also. And like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.